Minus ask to reduce 10, for launch. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, we have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying SF-8 for the United States Space Force. Now 10 seconds into flight, vehicles will be on the pitch over maneuver, body response to look good. You're now hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Now 20 seconds in. R-180 propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control system response, looks good. Now passing 30 seconds into flight. Vehicles completing the pitch over maneuver, body rate responses continue to look good, engine operating parameters continue to look good. SRV chamber pressure uh, within expected ranges. Coming up on 58 seconds into flight, Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. RE-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. That's every chamber pressure looks good. The final seconds now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff. Liftoff of Noah's Ghost Team our newest weather sentinel in the sky to help keep us safe here on the ground. And Daryl, let's listen in as we listen to United Launch Alliance Rob Kirsten, look good. who is the flight mission commentator. View has gone to close loop control. The RD-180 is now throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. We are now 33 seconds into flight. Atlas is three miles in altitude, 0.9 miles downrange distance. Oh, max Q, 48 seconds. We have passed through Mach 1. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. We throttle back those arms. Now 55 seconds into flight. Atlas is seven miles in altitude, four miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,900 miles per hour. RD-180 is now throttling back up. We backed off the throttle to reduce the stress of the rocket. Now at 75 seconds to flight, Atlas is 13 miles in altitude, 10 miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,700 miles per hour. Vehicles now pressurized for flight. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. All systems are go for liftoff. Go Starliner. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift off. Starliner is headed back to space on the shoulders of Atlas, powered by a workforce dedicated to its success. This is the first planned throttle down for Atlas in preparation for Max Q. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure of the vehicle. Right now, atmospheric forces are the highest Starliner Atlas will face during the uphill climb. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have engine ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying USSF 12 for the United States Space Force. Pitch over program, body range look good. NPU's gone to closed loop. System response looks good. 
now 20 seconds into flight. Atlas is now completing the pitch over maneuver. Body rates continue to look good. RD-180 is throttled down slightly to partial thrust. Response looks good. Now 36 seconds into flight. Atlas 5 is now passing Mach 1. RD-180 continue to look good in partial thrust mode. See good chamber pressures on all SRBs. And at 49 seconds into flight, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. SRB chamber pressures also look good, now passing one minute into flight. RD-180 now throttling back up to full thrust as expected. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket for United Launch Alliance carrying Sivers G06 for the United States Space Force. Ignition. 10. Test or start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We have ignition. 2, 1, lift off. and liftoff of the last West Coast United Launch Engine Alliance Delta IV on. heavy rocket carrying NROL 91 for the National Reconnaissance Office. Vehicle has now begun the pitchover maneuver. All three RS-68 engines look good at this time. The core booster is now throttling down to the partial thrust level. And that core booster We're has now the reached the desired of Kesselman thrust Providing launch vehicle ascent data. The parameters continue to look good. Vehicle is now three miles in altitude, five miles downrange distance, traveling at a velocity of 1,000 miles per hour. Engine parameters continue to look good at this time. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, 2, 1, and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying SES 20 and 21 for SES, the leading provider of global content connectivity solutions. After 15 seconds of play, the U.S. is going to close with control. Jesse Gonzalez providing launch vehicle ascent data. And 40 seconds into play. Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And the vehicle is now. 
now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And the Arctic 180 is now throttling back up as expected. Engine response continues to look good. Passing a minute into flight, continuing to see uh, good SRB chamber pressures. Uh, Arctic 180 pump speed and fuel injector pressures are uh, responding well to demands on the engine. Vehicle is continuing right down the middle of the range track. On a clear night in California, here we go. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of the Atlas V carrying JPSS-2 and Lofton, a new weather observatory for our planet and a test for planetary exploration. Yeah, Gerald, as you heard uh, Omar Baez say, LSP-100 on its way also. We're very happy for this 100th mission launch services program. Let's listen in as Jesse Gonzalez and coming up on 30 seconds in the flight vehicle is a half mile in altitude, flight. two miles down range. Traveling at 160 miles per hour. And passing 45 seconds of the flight, continuing to see good operating parameters out of the RD-180. The power of the Atlas V RD-180. Coming up on a minute into flight, the whole the vehicle is ending its roll maneuver. And vehicle body rates are looking good. Getting ready and approaching Mach 1. And passing through 80 seconds into flight, uh, Mach 1, Atlas V is now supersonic. That's 769. And vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. 769 miles per hour, 1,234 1, kilometers an hour. going through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. And passing 100 seconds into flight, seeing the RD-180 throttle back as expected. Engine response continues to look good, and vehicle body rates continue to look good at this time. Throttling down just a little bit to reduce Coming the stress. Coming up on two minutes into flight, the vehicle is now 12 miles in altitude, uh, seven miles downrange, traveling at 1,500 miles per hour.